that you've completed two major steps in becoming a new member. The first one was you pay. <laughs> <laughs> today, you've completed the second one, which is to go through this initiation and working really hard to come up with your idea of speech and present it and not dying. <laughs> There's a third aspect. And most of us, or some of you, don't know about it, but uh, for new members, we do vote to see if we want to keep you in the club. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a secret ballot. <laughs> and I got the results. And somebody, Laurel or somebody, please go to those doors, put some duct tape, two by fours, and nail, and nail it in the shot. We don't want this one to get away. Do not want you to get away. We want to see your face. We want to see you give more. And you will have an opportunity to do that soon. I look at it, and your speech really impacted me. And I'll tell you how it did. It was the determination and the courage that I felt as I listened. And I go back to my first speech that year, and what I thought I wanted to give and what I wanted to give and the pain, really, of going through the process trying to come up with something relevant. I listened, and you had you know, an opening that right away told us far more than what we ever would have known otherwise with being a single mother. And you went on, and definitely you were tied to your notes. And that's OK. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have any problem with that. But I was looking for where did the passion come in? And there was a palatable moment where you start talking about that business. And that was a twist for me. I had you totally associated with healthcare, you know. And I go, wow, that is totally off. And I saw a moment, a period of time in that speech where you just came alive. And you, you, it was showing through. And that's what speaking is. Coming through with that moment. To, that, that, to show where you were headed and what you wanted to do. It wasn't long after that, though. I think, talking with you earlier, I think you were starting to think about the clothes. I don't know. But it, it faded away, and I think you were a little bit, what am I going to say to get off the stage? And we have some great suggestions. I think of Marty Fonke saying, begin with the end in mind. Think about the closing first, and then lead us to that. There's so many little tricks that you can learn here. And I will say this, we need you a lot more than you need us. <laughs> and we want to see where we can take you. The next speech is organize your speech. Thank you. Yeah.